<clears throat> okay, so just got myself uh, a pair of um, Sennheiser. If you can see that out of focus, RS160 um, uh, di digital wireless headphones, and uh, going to be use these for metal detecting. And uh, the reason I chose these is because I've seen some people use them and uh, they do rate them. Plus uh, it comes with a, uh, a portable transmitter, you can see in the picture there below, um, which you can put batteries in. So um, yeah, so, so they look pretty good. and. Um, I don't know if you know anything about Sennheiser, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, they've been going for years, they produce high quality uh, microphones and headphones for the, or, um, for the audio industry or the hi-fi um, music industry. So they're going to be good quality whatever, I mean the phones are going to be good quality. Um, so they could have a dual purpose really, they can use them for metal detecting and um, plug them into the hi-fi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox them and let you have a closer look and then I will um, do a uh, test with my C-scope and at some point test them with a the Garrett as well. I've got a C-scope 6, 6 MXI and we can test it with a Garrett Ace 250 as well. Anyway, catch you shortly. <coughs> okay, so i um, got my unboxed and right, well, yeah, initial impressions. Um they're well made. Um, the nice soft ear pads. Um, now you can get spare ones for these ear, these ear pads from Sennheiser, so if you ever um, want to replace them for whatever reason, for hygiene or whatever, you can get get them fairly cheaply. The uh, the ear pads, so you just um, they just uh, tur you just turn them and they come off, and you've got one AAA battery either side on each uh, ear cup as such. Um, which are rechargeable and uh, you plug the recharge lead in the bottom there which then plugs into uh, I think you can plug it into the uh, transmitter or directly from uh, the charger which is there um, it does come with different um, mains adapt more mains plugs so for the UK or for America or whatever so that's not pretty good um, you get a uh, yeah that's a power lead so you can power the um, transmitter and charge the headphones you get two um, rechargeable batteries for the hand not for them for the uh, headset now you don't get them for this device because they probably assume you're going to use it plugged into the mains. Um, you put two AA batteries in the bottom here, so then it can become portable. And uh, so you've got your audio lead coming out there, which are plugged in. And I don't know if you can see, there's a little knob there, which can, could be handy, which adjusts the output volume. Um, so depending on what you know you're on, on your detector you can adjust that so um, and there's a little on off switch I mean, as soon as you, you um, put your batteries in um, it'll pair up with the headphones no problem um, if you want to switch it off just that's the on off button there same with the headphones I've got an on off button so um, to say yeah they, they feel well made um, and I, I've just tried them with um, listening to music and I must say that they are 
bloody good. Um, I mean, they're not overpowering. Uh, it's this bass, but not booming bass, just right. Probably, you know, as, as you'd expect with hi-fi. Um, and it make, but well, it may may be tingle. Um, it may just give you shivers all over, depending on the music. It, so I do rate these as hi-fi headphones. Um, certainly, you won't be disappointed. Now that that bodes well for um, using it with a detector, because obviously if you've got a detector, what has different tones? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, these are going to sound pretty good, I reckon. I mean, so my next step really is to um, plug them into the detector and give it a test, but I'm pretty sure they'll be good. Okay, this is uh, what they look like on your head. Nice and comfortable. Certainly keep your ears warm. Um, I can imagine you could wear these for quite a while without discomfort. Um, let's have a look around. So, yeah. They certainly feel, you know, quality. So, looking forward to trying them with the detector. Yeah, what well, I, I did mean to say um, is I got these um, on eBay, and uh, they cost ninety-eight pounds. Now, that might sound a lot of money, but in the hi-fi world, it's not a lot of money, and. Um, if you want a quality set of headphones, they're not much more than wired headphones you get, you know, good ones you can get in uh, for metal detectors. Um, but if you consider, if you spend like five, six hundred or a thousand pounds on your, on, your on your detector, then um, maybe you should be looking at, you know, investing in good headphones if you're looking for wireless ones. Um, for, for your uh, detector, because at the end of the day, the sound quality does matter um, so I think and, and obviously the what you hear is important so um, there you go it's certainly worth considering okay so um, I've done some initial tests um, connecting uh, the phones up to my C scope 6MXI um, and I'm really impressed with the sound quality which I'm not surprised to be honest because Sennheiser are um, do, or do make quality phones um, so so basically what, what, what I've done was I got the transmitter with the um, two AA batteries they go under under there inside there and um, we plugged it into the obviously the headphone socket, um, and uh, basically when you switch it on, it, it pairs up with, uh, within a couple of couple of seconds. Um, and the sound quality is really really good. It's um, the speaker itself on the the six MXI um, is a is a decent speaker, um, but there's no distortion whatsoever. Really crisp, clear um, tones. Um, no noise as you you know you might think with wireless there's no noise um, no hissing no crackles um, so okay I've, I've yet to test it um, all them and should I say I, um, out on the field but I'm confident that they're going to um, do the job um, obviously I can't demo the sound to you but I don't think you're going to be disappointed, and I'm, I'm certainly not disappointed so far. Um, so the the transmitter box is fairly lightweight, um, and I, there's probably some options where I can mount this. Um, probably in a like a, uh, a a plastic bag, like a food bag. Um, I've seen a guy mount it on a bit of a, on, on a plastic backing. Um, which obviously keeps it out of the uh, the wet. Um, 
and also you can switch it on through the bag. Um, there's Depending on your detect detector, I'm sure this is going to work with any detector that you can plug normal headphones into. Um, so the C scope it works fine. I was going to, I'm going to try it on a Garrett, but it, uh, um, and uh, an Ace 250. I'll try it on that, um, and also uh, anything else what I can come across. But I would have thought I can't see it's going to be a problem with any detector. You see, there is the the volume control there, so you can you can change the output um, to the phones, um, and they go quite loud, and they really do go loud, as loud as you you're going to need. Um, so, with this C scope, I could probably probably I could mount it. I've seen people mount um, mount it on the on the arm cup here. Um, I could probably mount it on the back of the on the back of the uh, the battery box uh, with some maybe Vel Velcro stickers. Just got to decide on that, but um, yeah, it's doable, quite doable. Um, you know, to cable tie it or, or do it somehow. Um, but as I say, uh, uh, I, I um, would think that the quality on you're getting. Um, is not going to be beaten because you know the, you got to consider these these phones are hi-fi headphones, um, so that quality they do sound good with music, um, but they, they're, they're probably overkill actually for, for detecting. But um, other people who've, who've uh, tried them um, reckon that they're brilliant. To say, um, just try to think of uh, any other plus points uh, about them. Um, really, I mean, as I say, it's, uh, the batteries do last, um, or supposed to last, uh, what's it, the sender or the transmitter uh, is supposed to last 120 hours, and uh, the rechargeables, and on this, on the headphones, 24 hours. Now, uh, that's about three days of detecting, I suppose, but oh, that's probably playing music as well. Um, with obviously detectors, you're not con unless you've got iron tones going off. You're not constantly um, making loud sounds. So your batteries are probably going to last maybe longer uh, than playing music. Um, that's something I've got to find out. But I can only really give you, um, you know, an initial impression of this, but. Uh, um, I don't think you go far wrong. Obviously, it's a lot. It's you know they're not cheap. They're ninety eight pound um, on eBay. It's about the cheapest place I found them. Um, but you know, as I said before, if you if you pay a lot of money for a detector, then you should probably be investing in a good set of headphones. Um, so I think you know I'll probably use them for hi fi as well, listening to music, and they do really sound the business. They really are good. Uh, I must admit. Um, so, anyway, I hope you found that useful, and um, I'll uh, I'll give I'll do an update once I actually get out and do some detecting. Um, and uh, you know, and I'll let you know how I get on. Thanks for watching. Cheers.